Hello friends, now let's start learning different candlestick patterns. First we will learn single candlestick patterns. That is patterns that consist of only single candlestick. Then we will learn two candlestick patterns. That is patterns consisting of two candlesticks. And finally we will learn three candlestick patterns. In this module we are covering single candlestick patterns. That is first one is doji candlesticks. Then second set is the hanging man and the hammer. And third set is the inverted hammer and the shooting star. Friends, before starting the discussion, please note these names are for informational purposes only. And as a trader, these names are irrelevant. You just need to understand the price action or psychology of any candlestick pattern. So let's start with doji candlesticks. Friends, I have already introduced the doji candlesticks in one of the previous lectures. Let's take that discussion ahead and learn this important candlestick in detail. Friends, as you have learned earlier, Doji is created when the opening price and the closing price of a candle are almost the same. Due to this, a Doji does not have a real body and the body simply looks like a straight line like this. The upper and lower wicks can be long or short. As a trader, we normally ignore Dojis with small wicks. So the recommendation is to pay attention to only those dojis with long wicks. Now this long or short wicks you have to observe with context of recent price action. Let's discuss a valid setup of doji that we can consider for trading. Friends, a doji is classified as an indecisive candle if it is found within a sideways market. Formation of doji in a sideways market is of least importance as a trader since market can follow any direction after formation of doji. But dojis are considered very important if found in a trending market. If dojis appear in a trending market, then this indicates loss in momentum and gives us a signal that reversal of market is near. So position of doji is very important before we take them as a trading signal. Now there are three variations of doji that are important as a trader. First one is gravestone doji, then second one is dragonfly doji, and last one is long leg doji. Let's see each one of these in detail and also learn how to efficiently trade them. First one is gravestone doji. Now friends, the gravestone doji is formed when the open, close and low are at the same level. Along with this, it also has a long upper wick but a little or no lower wick. A perfect gravestone doji will look like this. Now let's see the valid setup of gravestone doji. Friends, gravestone doji formation is very effective at the top of a trend and often results in market reversals. Thus, it's a bearish reversal pattern. So whenever the trend is up and there is formation of this doji, then you must consider this as a trading signal. But you can ignore this doji in sideways or downtrending market. Now let's understand the psychology behind gravestone doji. Friends, suppose the market is trending up and one day gravestone doji is formed. Now this is a signal that buyers attempted to push the price above the opening but failed miserably. The price retraced to the same level as opening of the session where it also closed. Now this gives formation of long upper wick of a gravestone doji. The bulls are tired now and bears are all set to take the control. Now if there is gap down opening next day, then there is high probability that the trend has reversed for a while. Let's now apply our tree trading setup and see how to trade gravestone doji. First step is T that is trend. Now friends, the trend must be up in case of gravestone doji. The next is R that is region of interest. Since this is a bearish reversal pattern, so this should form around resistance levels. Now as discussed before, this can be a trend line or a horizontal resistance level or even a moving average. Then third step is RSI. Now for RSI, it should be in overbought levels. The next step is E for entry. Now the entry level can be opening of next candle if it's a gap down opening. Else wait for the next day's candle to close below the gravestone doji. Only then take the entry. As said earlier, always take your confirmations and never trade candlesticks in isolation. Then last step is E for exit. Now friends, you can take your target at previous support or previous swing low. 
please note just use your analytical mind in setting targets trading is in fact never perfect if the previous support or swing low is much lower and you don't expect that to cross then you can even exit at 50% of that level trading is all about generating profits and not being too greedy you can even exit with 1 is to 2 risk to reward ratio let's see a practical example from the us stock twitter as you can see the stock is in uptrend here which is followed by the formation of gravestone doji the open and close of this doji are almost at same level this has a long upper wick and negligible lower wick thus this forms a valid gravestone doji as per price action in next step of the strategy we will check if this doji is formed at a region of interest now this region of interest must act like a resistance so that the probability of reversal is increased at this level let me zoom out the chart and see the previous price action so this is the zoom out chart and here is our gravestone doji now friends to check if this is a region of interest or not i will simply draw a rectangle around this doji and take it backwards now can you observe something please notice that this region is in fact acting as a region of interest just observe this congestion here and also price bouncing off here so after breakout here this region must act as a resistance friends hope you know this important fact that previous support generally acts as a strong resistance after breakout and vice versa so we can confirm that this gravestone doji is in fact formed at a major region of interest which is acting as a resistance let's zoom back in and check the other parameters friends next step is to check the rsi as you can see the rsi is in overbought region and thus this also acts in favor of reversal finally we will take our entry at the next candle as you can see next candle had a gap up opening which was in fact not expected but still it closed below the gravestone doji which confirmed that reversal is real and we can take entry at the opening of next candle so we can take entry here with stop loss just at the top of this doji lastly we will take our target level at, at this minor retracement during this uptrend this target was hit here and this was in fact a minor profitable trade as said you can tweak the setup as per your trading style and risk taking abilities next let's see dragonfly doji friends the dragonfly doji is formed when the open close and high are at same price during an average or larger daily range it has a long lower wick but no upper wick a perfect dragonfly doji will look like this let's see the valid setup friends dragonfly doji formation is very effective at the bottom of a trend and often results in market reversals so whenever the trend is down and there is formation of this doji then you must consider it as a trading signal but you can ignore this doji in sideways and uptrending market let's now understand the psychology behind dragonfly doji friends let's assume there is continuous selling pressure in the market as indicated by this downtrend and today's session has also started off quite bearish and is currently trading near days low now at this point of the day we have a very bearish looking candle and sellers look to be in full control the sellers are simply shorting seeing this long bearish candle but then the buyer suddenly show up near these lows and start absorbing the selling pressure the market finally closes the session right back where it was open leaving a massive wick at the bottom of the candle so what exactly happened here in short we saw a change in market sentiment from a bearish sentiment to bullish sentiment the lower wick reveals a failed attempt by the sellers to move the price lower the bearish momentum in fact did not hold long and the price rises to close almost at the opening level now friends after this the expectation is for reversal and uptrend to follow now let's apply a tree trading setup and see how to trade dragonfly doji so the first step is t that is trend now the trend must be down in case of dragonfly doji the next step is r that is region of interest since this is a bullish reversal pattern so this should form around support levels 
now this can be a trend line or horizontal support level or even a moving average then third step is r that is rsi now for rsi the rsi should be in oversold levels the next step is e that is entry now the entry level can be open of next candle if there is a gap of opening else wait for next day candle to close above the dragonfly doji only then take the entry our last step is e that is exit now friends you can take your target at previous resistance or previous swing high if the previous resistance or swing high is much higher and you don't expect that to cross then you can even exit at 50% of that level i will again repeat trading is all about generating profits and not being too greedy or you can even set your target using 1 is to 2 risk to reward ratio as said earlier take your targets rationally seeing the full context of the market let's look at a practical example this is the daily chart of currency pair euro usd as you can see the currency pair is in downtrend here which led to formation of a dragonfly doji so as per our trading setup first condition that is trend is downward now let's see if this dragonfly doji is formed at a region of interest but friends things are not clear from this chart let's zoom out the chart and then look at the broader picture the small oval to the right represents the position of our dragonfly doji friends just look at this region here and notice the price breakout from this level before this breakout this level was acting as a resistance so as per technical analysis after breakout this level should act as a support level so our condition 2 as per our trading setup holds good i will again zoom in and check the other parameters now let's check the position of rsi as you can notice here the rsi is in oversold region let's take a final confirmation from the candlestick which will open in next trading session friends the next day candle didn't had a gap up opening so we will wait for the session to close this session in fact closed higher than the doji so we can confirm that most probably the market will reverse from this position and we will take our entry at around these levels finally our target will be this resistance level as you can see our target was hit here please note for conservative traders who are doubtful if this target is possible or not they can even exit at 50% or even at 1 is to 2 risk to reward ratio friends hope the example is clear to you now let's see the last doji type that is long leg doji friends the long leg doji is found when the open and close are at same price levels during a long range the open and the close are almost at the midpoint of its range thus forming a long lower and upper wicks when this doji emerges during a trending market then japanese used to say that market has lost its momentum and the trend may reverse from here on now this can be a complete reversal or even to sideways market a perfect long leg doji will look like this on your charts now let's understand the psychology behind formation of long leg doji friends suppose the market is trending in upward direction which shows bulls are gaining momentum but one trading session you will notice formation of long leg doji which indicates that on this particular trading session bulls again try to take the prices higher as shown with long upper wick and bears also came in and took the market lower as indicated by long lower wick but the market still closed almost at the same level as open this shows loss of momentum of the market in upward direction and if we get a gap down opening next day or candlestick closing lower than this doji then we can take the trade depending upon other factors of our trading strategy now let's apply our tree trading setup and see how to trade long leg doji please note to avoid confusion the steps mentioned are for the case when long leg doji is formed during an uptrend and we are trading for the reversal as per our tree trading setup so for trading long leg doji in a downtrend just reverse the steps So first step is T for trend. Now the trend must be up in this case. Then second is region of interest. In this case the pattern must form around resistance levels. Now this can be a trend line or horizontal resistance level or even a moving average. Then next is RSI. So for RSI the RSI should be in overbought levels. 
The next step is entry. Now the entry level will be open of next candle if it's a gap down opening. Else wait for next candle to close below the long leg doji. Only then take the entry. As I said earlier, always take your confirmations and never trade candlesticks in isolation. Then final step is E for exit. Now friends, you can take your target at previous support and previous swing low. If the previous support or swing low is much lower and you don't expect that to reach, then you can even exit at 50% of that level. You can even use 1 is to 2 risk to reward ratio as your target level. Let's see a practical example and see how to apply a tree trading setup in case of long leg doji. This is a chart of Reliance Industries. In this example, we are trading a long leg doji in case of downtrend. As you can see, the trend is down here, which is followed by formation of a long leg doji. Let's check the second step and see if this is formed in a region of interest. Now, if you look at this trend line, you can notice the stock is respecting this trend line and taking support of this level. And when you observe the position of doji, you can notice that it's indeed formed at a region of interest. Then let's check the RSI, which is almost touching the oversold region. Finally, we get our confirmation when the next day's candle had a gap of opening. This confirms that the reversal is actually real and we can take this trade. We took entry here with our target level as previous resistance, that is this level. Our target got hit here and this was a good profitable trade. I will again repeat, take your target as per your risk taking capability. The conservative traders can even book the profit at 50% of this level or even 1 is to 2 risk to reward ratio. They can even trail their stop losses to ride the profits higher. So friends, with this I wind up this lecture, hope dojis are clear to you. Though there are some other types of dojis as well, but these three are the most tradable dojis and often generates good profitable trades.